Scientists differ about what they think the ultimate future of the universe will be billions of years from now, but we have a little easier time predicting what the coming year will bring to e-discovery. Here are 10 predictions. 1. ESI volumes will continue to grow. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to predict that the amount of ESI that is being stored continues to grow exponentially. A few years ago, a gigabyte was a large collection. Now, moderately sized collections may be several terabytes. A few years ago, most lawyers could not even spell terabytes. Now they're faced with analyzing them. Two, automation will become increasingly necessary to deal with ESI. The volume increases, but the resources to deal with that volume do not. The size of collections goes up, but people's reading speed stays constant. For example, a terabyte of ESI could take 170,000 person hours to read, about 81 work years. At $100 per hour, that's $17 million to review just one terabyte, with no raises in sight for 81 years. Clearly, something other than putting human eyes in each document is necessary if the justice system is not to collapse. Three, unit costs for ESI processing will continue to decrease, but more slowly than volume increases. The cost per gigabyte for ESI processing has been on a downward spiral for many years. But where the volume of data being processed has exploded a thousandfold, the unit prices have decreased only tenfold. But the total cost for e-discovery, including the cost of review, is likely to continue to increase. Four, cloud and social media will become more prevalent communication tools, and their challenge for e-discovery will increase. A majority of companies say that they are still inadequately prepared to deal with discovery social media. The coming year will see the introduction and dissemination of tools for managing social communications, texting, and the like. Five, data archiving, particularly email archiving, will continue to increase in prevalence and necessity. Intentionally making information difficult to retrieve in the hopes of invoking inaccessibility is generally no longer a viable strategy for avoiding e-discovery. Six, legal hold processes continue to be automated due to their critical role. Legal holds reinforce the use of archiving and early case analysis and the convergence with GRC, or governance, risk management, and compliance. Recent court decisions increase the pressure to archive data and to properly manage and document legal hold processes. Seven, multimedia convergence will raise privacy issues as business and personal technology become increasingly difficult to separate. Smartphones, iPads, tablet computers, e-readers, and the like are growing in popularity, and employees expect to have them available at all times. The intermixing of personal and professional files will challenge e-discovery processes in practice and lead to increasing disputes over privacy. Eight, advances in technology affect what is seen as proportionate and what is seen as inaccessible. The distinction between accessible and inaccessible media is changing as technology advances. Formerly inaccessible media are rapidly becoming more accessible. 9. Early case assessment becomes full cycle data analysis, starting with collection and leading through to production and trial preparation. As technology improves, the traditional linear kind of process described by the EDRM flowchart is being replaced by interactive, iterative processes. There is growing convergence of early case assessment and traditional e-discovery services. And 10. Corporations increasingly demand control over their e-discovery processes and expenses. Many are trying to bring at least the initial stages of e-discovery in-house, where they think that they can do it better and cheaper. Outside counsel are being pressured to improve their efficiencies. These pressures will lead to increasing use of alternative fee arrangements, corporate consultants, technology usage, and more training opportunities. These are some of the trends I see in e-discovery for the coming months. They call for increasing use of technological tools to amplify human intelligence and reduce the burden of e-discovery. Only by working efficiently can we achieve the levels of accuracy and affordability that will keep the justice system accessible.